What's going on there, YouTube world? Austin Lewis here coming to you guys live with another YouTube video. And as you guys saw in the title and in the thumbnail, we are gonna be talking about credit. Credit follows you for the rest of your life. It's the key to your success and essentially controls everything you do. If you're struggling to get started, let me help you. There's an abundance of credit card options that are almost overwhelming. I'm going to show you the very best options for basic level credit cards that you today can start with. First off, credit cards are gonna help you increase your credit score, not dig yourself into a hole whether you have no credit or bad credit. Improve your score so you can be able to get better interest rates. This is going to pay off when you need to get a loan or whatever it might be and loans consist of auto payments, car insurance, even mortgages. This is gonna save you a ton of money, trust me. I've learned from personal experiences. I did the research so you don't have to do anything staggering and all you gotta do is just pay attention here in this video. I'm gonna share with you the top five, the very best top credit cards that there are for you to go out there and actually apply for. Let me enlighten you through this entire video. If you guys haven't already, make sure and go smash the thumbs up button because it helps the YouTube algorithm. Again, in my previous videos, I share with you guys that I lost $1,000, so the YouTube algorithm is gonna help me gain my $1,000 back. So go ahead, smash that thumbs up button for me, and uh, I appreciate you guys doing that thus far. Let me, let me explain to you guys first about a secured credit card versus a unsecured credit card. And you know, we'll just start with the basics. With secured credit cards, and again, I'm gonna use my notes as much possible so I can give you guys the most accurate information. With secured credit cards, you put down a deposit of, let's just say X amount, that X amount will then be your credit limit. So if you put down $10,000 as your X amount, that is essentially gonna be your credit limit. For example, you put down $200 and your spending limit is now $200. This is great for individuals with little self-control like myself, I'll be honest with you guys. To start, it keeps you kind of on a leash. That's leading you ultimately to success. After so many months, typically six on average, with on-time payments in full, your credit line will extend and have the ability to be a unsecured credit card. Now, what is an unsecured credit card? An unsecured credit card is pretty much the opposite of a secured credit card. You don't need a deposit and the credit line is typically based off your credit score and ultimately credit history. There's some credit, credit cards that allow you to have up to a quarter million dollars in credit line. That being said, for beginners on a secured credit card, my number one choice is the Discover It credit card. Why? Let me tell you. As I've already explained thus far, this will be a deposit $500 down, then you have a $500 spending limit. What you avoid with this card is any annual fees and you'll receive rewards up to 2% cash back on restaurants, gas stations, plus 1% cash back on all other purchases. Annual fees add up, so this is huge, ladies and gentlemen. Also, Discover is running a promotion where they will match your cash back for one year. So it's double everything listed above. This also allows you to mo monitor your FICO score online for free. Keep track of how this card is allowing you to build your credit. So they give you a back office where clearly you can keep track of your FICO score along with uh, you know, your credit and what it's currently building at. Discover It also allows uh, you to have the offers uh, an unsecured credit card to no deposit required, again, because it is an unsecured credit card. This would be if you have already started building your credit. The offers on this card are the same. Again, I'm gonna read off my notes for you guys. That way I can provide you the most accurate information. And the rewards are slightly better. 1% on the unsecured uh, is no annual fees, 5% cash back match cash back for the first year. And remember, pay your bill in full so you avoid paying any interest whatsoever. My next recommendation would be the Amazon Prime card. Why? Listen up. To start off with, the credit card requirement is not too shabby if you ask me. 
Uh, this would be a card for someone who has a little bit of a credit line and still in the beginner stages, but needs to push a little bit further. The score requirements are the following excellent 720, good 680, and fair 640. So if you're anywhere within that range, you're good to go. Anywhere from 640 all the way up to 720. No annual fees again. Get the card and skyrocket your credit score. There's two types of Amazon Prime rewards cards, and I'm going to list them down below here. This requires you to have an Amazon Prime membership obviously that's an obvious unlimited 5% cash back on Amazon Whole Foods Market you know this is cool because you know what they say about Whole Foods whole paycheck <laughs> and again that comes with a 2% on gas stations restaurants drugstores and 1% on all other purchases no foreign exchange fees if you're traveling to anywhere overseas which is a massive Plus. The second card is very similar as the first one is. Uh, it's the same thing, just without the Prime membership, you'll still get a $50 Amazon gift card, 3% cash back instead of 5% on Amazon purchases, 2% back at restaurants, gas stations, and drugstores, 1% on virtually anything else. In my opinion, just get the Prime membership if you haven't already. I recommend that wholeheartedly. Get 5% rather than 3%, just way better. My next recommendation is the Bank of America Cash Rewards credit card. With this awesome credit card, you can apply for it after building your credit for just roughly six to 12 months. Uh, again, because it does require you to have somewhat of a good standing credit. Also remember, each time that you guys are pulling for a credit card, it does pull your credit score, which then in turn it leaves a hard inquiry on your credit, which also affects your credit score. What I'm saying is strategically choose which credit card I share with you in this video that virtually fits you best. Now back to the card, here's what you get. Uh, again, with this Bank of America Cash Rewards credit card is one, you will get no annual fees, 200 online cash rewards bonus, offer if you spend up to $1,000 in 90 days. Who doesn't spend $1,000 in 90 days? You'll get 3% cash back on any category of your choice, 2% cash back on grocery stores, and 1% on all others. Again, it is a 0%, now ladies and gentlemen, listen up, this is huge. It is a 0% APR for their first 15 months. Now, you guys definitely have to have some self-control with this. When I got started in the credit line industry, I got my first credit card. I had an $8,500 limit for 0% APR for 24 months. Soon after, I figured out I had an $8,500 balance on my $8,500 credit card. Therefore, I knew I had to pay that back in time before I received that 20% APR and after those 24 months. So have self-control. Last card of the video, the Amex Blue Cash Card. I personally have this card. It is a phenomenal card, and that just sounds nice and awesome, doesn't it? That Amex Blue Cash Hand Card. Amex is meant to be set up like a charge card. It's meant to be paid off in full at every single month. Amex is really big on that. This basically says that whatever you spend on that credit card is essentially at the end of the month what you're ultimately gonna have to pay off at the end of every single month. Now, now, the beautiful part about this card is spending will not affect your credit score unlike other cards. Again, what you'll get with this Amex Blue Cash card is you'll get no annual fee. You'll get $150 back if you spend $1,000 in 90 days. You'll get 3% on certain categories, 2% on gas stations and select department stores, and 1% on all other purchases. Again, you're gonna get a free shop runner membership, which means free shipping on select providers. And let me be honest with you guys. The only reason I shop at Amazon is for the free shipping. So I love free shipping. I hope this helps with you guys' decision. That's all I have for you guys here today. Again, go rewatch this video simply because I share with you guys my top credit cards. Again, if you are a beginner, start at the beginning of this video. If you're more of an advanced and you have a line of credit of some sort and you have good credit, then the end of this video is definitely some credit cards that I highly advise that you guys get involved with or get yourself, get your hands on. Again, I, I, utilizing credit cards has tremendously helped me build my credit. Uh, again, I have multiple different credit cards. In fact, majority of the credit cards that I share with you that are the top credit cards here that I personally believe would be the five best credit cards right now uh, are honestly the credit cards that I even have for myself. I utilize each and every single one for multiple different purposes and I just want to remember or, or remind you that you using your credit cards use them for different things. Again I use one for personal use, I use one for business use, and then I use one for just random expenses. Therefore at the end of the year I can track my expenses as a business owner 
partner and I can know, hey, this is 100% a tax write-off. Hey, this isn't a tax write-off. And at the same time, I'm able to get rewards from each credit card that it is that I personally have. So again, if you guys haven't already, make sure and go smash the thumbs up button on this video below. Go ahead and comment what you guys thought on this video. Share this with your friends that you like, trust, and respect. And if you guys are brand new here, I just want to welcome you to the entire channel. This channel is absolutely incredible. It is blowing up at a substantial rate. And I just want to say I appreciate each and every single one of you guys. So each of us is one of us, one of us is all of us, and we're all going to go crush this thing. Austin Lewis here saying, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you guys in a future video.